Tony, we're really here. Such a long way from home. Wasn't that the idea? Something wrong with yours, huh? It's got legs. It is squid. It is? <laughs> How was I supposed to know calamari was squid? Why don't you order it? I'm trying to develop more sophisticated taste. A big shot like you can't be married to some hick from Iowa. You're not some hick. You're my hick. Thanks. I think. Tea for the lady and milk for the growing boy. Happy anniversary, Chuckles. Happy anniversary, Nina. Of getting married or just living together? Neither. Actually, it's the 16th anniversary of our first phone call. <laughs> you guys celebrate everything? Everything good. <clears throat> Which is everything. Okay, Kenny. Got it. All right, Kenny. Come on, all right. Well, good isn't good enough. It had to be great. Come on, you can tell me the truth. Was it sort of okay? Not too awful? It was, it, it was fine. Yeah, that's what I said. It was a disaster. There were hundreds of people there. 143, including the mayor's entire staff and the cleanup crew. Come on, Iris. What'd you expect? You want people spend the last day of summer watching I got the ball. Come on, Kenny. Why not? Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. The city is a ball. melting pot. And you should be proud of all the different art forms that comprise our culture. You sound like a press release. Today is Labor Day, remember? I just think we should focus on some of the labor struggles our colorful neighbors have endured. Yeah, that'll be a real crowd pleaser. Oh, shit! Hey! Oh. Asshole! I love this car. I think you married me for this car. Legs first, then mind, then car. Maybe it was car, then mind. I... I don't remember. Why'd you marry me? You're the second largest penis I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Who has the first, he asked, begging for trouble? A statue in the Piazza Signoria. Statue. Mm -hmm. Statue. A sculpture. Very funny. Very funny. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Why? Why? Because the sculptor could always send out for more marble. I got to work with what I got. Too bad. <laughs> 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 what you got works great for me. Hmm. I'm almost relaxed. Oh, good. I need some champagne and caviar. Let's go to Petrosian and get drunk. Then go home and get in the hot tub. Then I'd be totally relaxed. Don't start, Claire. We're picking up Lucy. Didn't we have her last week? Yes, we did. And we're going to have it tonight for a few hours, that's all. Tonight is the night before the first day of school. I always cook at dinner. How sweet. It's kind of a tradition. Huh? Hey, Cam! Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, please let me talk to Lucy. No, no, your check is not late, Madeline. Today is a legal holiday. You'll get it tomorrow. We're not going to get to just... Hello, baby. Hi, sweetheart. How's my girl? Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of nice. No. Yeah? No. Diego hates yellow, remember? He said it's the state color of New Jersey. Diego. Well, it goes with everything. We don't have anything for it to go with. <laughs> hey, get the one you want. I've got to get to work so I can pay for it. Are we so poor that I can't even have a new pair of shoes? <laughs> Look, your brother only wore those for three weeks. In two weeks, you'll be telling me that they're too small. Stop that. What about school jackets? You need new jackets? Everybody has them. How much are they? $150. Jeez, what a bargain. We should all get one. Do they make them for dogs? Can we just talk about this later? Okay, now I'm going to take a nice cold shower. And, oh, would you mind taking out Fano? I think he's going to explode. I'm already late. Oh, hey, fine. Just lock him in your closet. You know what? You're not the only one. You had to outline my whole track. That's my dad. That guy's losing. He's going crazy. Just this way, Mrs. Bishop. We've got a wonderful bunch of kids here. Yep. <laughs> of course, they're normal. So we have our problems, too. Well, that's why I'm here. You should be dealing with a, a lot of divorce. Single parents, kids caught in the middle of grown-up problems. Here we are. Here's your new office. You've just given it a fresh coat of paint. <laughs> yes, I can smell it. It's one of my favorite smells. Yeah, me too. New beginnings and all that. Yeah, all that. Well, I'm going to let you... Set up housekeeping. Thank Remember, you. my door is always open. Thanks.
Well, I can't predict the future. That's true. I have been right every time. Okay, I'll put the order through. Great. I'll talk to you after the market closes. Hey, Jack, buddy. Bell. Hot moron. Listen, much as I hate to do it, I gotta thank you for that forced tip. I got a lot of very happy clients. Good. I don't mind sharing the wealth. Good. I don't mind uh, returning the favor. Here, have a look at this Maritan stuff. It looks very interesting. I'll give it a look. Not plotting a coup, are we? No, just trying to make you more money. Keep doing what you're doing. You're number one in commissions last quarter, and we all know how hard you pushed for that. No pain, no gain. I don't know. Jeremy makes it look pretty painless. He handled that Farinco offering without one hitch. I had a lot of fun with that one. Oh, come on. Fun my ass. You put your dick on the line when it counted. Yeah. Listen, you guys, I'm late for my 11 o'clock, so I'll see you later, buddy. Chuck, we had to let Dexter go. Oh, no. It's harder these days to get the job done, and he wasn't cutting it. But the good news is I'm going to give his accounts to you. Great. You won't regret it. I better not. George Mullaney is his heaviest hitter. You'll meet him tonight. Mm-hmm. I'll be ready for him. Enough said. Señora, un momento. El forma es muy importante. Muy importante. Por los food stamps. Por comer. Por usted y niño. No? Oh, I'll see you, Dad. The zero wants to help you. Help. Por comer, no? Oh, please. Muy importante, no? Niño. Eh? No? Oh. Hey, if it isn't a man about town. You know what I love about this job? I get to go to exotic places, like 942 West 142nd Street. An address I might add that no longer exists. The exercise is great. I climbed 23 flights of condemned steps today. You know what I'm saving on a health club? John, you are an inspiration to us all. I also got an appointment waiting. Oh, shit. Uh, Mr. Petrovich? Yes, yes, here, here. Oh. Hey, Mr. Romero. How you doing? You tell me. How's that kitchen job holding up? It's bullshit. They put me on part time. They're screwing around with my hours so I can't watch the kids when my wife works. I'll call the manager again. I'll talk to him personally. Look, I need a real job. Something with a future. Stock options, a profit sharing. I can't raise my kids in an apartment. We need a house with a yard. It doesn't have to be fancy. As long as the schools are decent and the air is clean, we'll pack up and leave tomorrow. Do you have any jobs like that? If I had one, I'd take it myself. Thank you, George. I can't believe I killed myself to get back from Washington so we could watch dirty movies, and now you're telling me? Honey, I told you about this a million times. It's very important to Lucy. Is Mad Dog gonna be there? No, she's not. She's working nights this week. If she was gonna be there, I wouldn't have asked you to go. Barbara, I need some heads now, and her name is Madeline. A rose is a rose. Listen, I am up to my ass in alligators here. You mean I have to go alone? Oh, yeah. There you go. Hi. I'm Iris Morton. I'm president of the Parents Association. Hi. I'm Nina Bishop. I'm the new school psychologist. Oh, I thought you looked a little young to be a parent. You look like one of the kids. I sort of feel like one. Not that I don't think I'm qualified. Or oh, anything. I didn't mean that. I have two boys here, Marty and Kenny, seventh, eighth grade. Those are very interesting ages. Yes, interesting is the right choice of words. <laughs> Excuse me, is there a payphone around here? The one in the lobby is out of order. Uh, yeah, by the nurse's office, third floor, right through those doors. Third floor? Forget it. Took me half an hour to find a place to pee. 
I ended up in the little boy's room. Oh. I could have traumatized some eight-year-old, but I figured, fuck it. You gotta go, you gotta go, right? Absolutely. Hi. I'm Iris Morden. I'm president of the Parents Association. This is Nina Bishop, our school psychologist. Hi. Bet you're busy in a place like this. <laughs> I'm Claire Laurent. Oh, I've been looking for you. Your daughter put you down for the refreshment committee. Daughter? Good God, do I look like a mother? Well, I don't know. What do mothers look like? What I mean to say is my husband's daughter is a student here. What grade is she in? I don't know. Oh, uh, how old is she? 12 or 13. She's a walking mass of raging hormones. But then, aren't we all? <laughs> well, I have just the spot to put those raging hormones to good use. We need all the help we can get. Help with what? I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. I'm kind of filling in here. Oh, I'm talking about the Rainbow Festival, the school pageant this year. We're doing a kind of a 60s theme. Okay, committees now. Refreshment committee, poster committee, program committee, decorations committee. I'll do decorations. Oh, great. It's my committee. School committees are not my thing. I do my best work in the boardroom. And the bedroom. <laughs> well, it, it is a school tradition. Fine, my husband will do it. Husbands and wives, it's the rule. You don't understand, I'm only the stepmother. Oh, step-parents count. If we didn't count step-parents, we'd have like maybe four people show up. I'll put you down the decorations committee with us. Don't worry about it, really. It's fun, besides it's months away. Months away? I haven't the faintest fucking idea what I'll be doing then. I'm sure you can fit it in. Now we shouldn't be maybe next Tuesday? Here, maybe? Well, no, why don't you come to my house? And I'll cook supper and we'll have a meeting there. Husbands, too. Don't put yourself out. That sounds great. See you then. Be great. <laughs> George Blaney has more money than God, but he's tighter than a duck's ass. I uh -huh. hear. This is Major Bishop. Don't fuck it up. Hey, George. I am so glad that you could make it. I told you about Chuck Bishop, our new VP. It's good to meet you, Mr. Mullaney. So you're the latest lion tamer. <laughs> well, I am fearless, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Hey, I just got off the phone with the Japs. Bam, they went for it. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. I'm Jeremy Brimfield, young stud. Yeah, I'm George Mullaney, old fart. <laughs> <laughs> I will never be as smooth as Jeremy. He always says the right thing. He always dresses perfectly. Who cares? He's just a lot of hot air. You're too hard on yourself. You need a diversion. <laughs> I don't have time for a diversion. You do on Tuesday at 7.30. We're having a dinner party. For who? I met some people at the meeting tonight. We're doing a school pageant honey, together. Honey, I can't. I just can't. I have too much work to do. Well, I already invited them. Well? Besides, I came here. It's only fair that we entertain for my job. Right. It'll be fun. Oh, yeah, it'll be a blast. Evening with a bunch of people I don't even know. We don't even know these people. I told you, she's the new school psychologist, and the other couple are parents. Well, at least he is. Do I have to wear a tie? You can go starve naked for all I care. Why are you being so difficult? Because I hate small talk. I'd rather stay home and read a good book. We never go anywhere. All our friends have left the city. It's so boring. I'm not bored. Okay. Say hey, thank you, Mother dear, and eat your breakfast. Thank you, Mother dear, and eat your breakfast. <gasps> thank you, Mother dear. Hey, get back here. Scrambled <laughs> eggs and toast, Marty. Pancakes are on the way. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to your hair? Nothing. Then we must have an electromagnetic field in our hallway because your hair is standing on end. I wore love beads. Well, then let him wear love beads. It's my hair. The punk movement glamorizes violence, and this is a non-violent household. Doesn't sound very non-violent to me. I don't complain about your hairdo. There's nothing wrong with my hairdo. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, jeez. Oh, I feel so fatherly. Dinner with school leaders. Lucy's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. well, I didn't love her volunteering me for that stupid committee. Those women are not exactly my type. Mm. You sure I can't talk you into a romantic evening at home? Alone? It's only gonna be for a couple of hours. How bad can it be? Hmm. So 
you're from Iowa. Uh, Iowa. What's it like in Iowa? <laughs> oh, um, it's, uh, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> oh, uh, it's, it's very small <laughs> and it's friendly and it's very, um, it's very, <laughs> um, it's... Iowan? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hmm. No, a, uh, a lot of people think Iowa is is more, it, it, you know, it's further west than it than that actually right. is. That's true. Huh? I can't tell you how grateful I am that you allowed us to use your apartment for this meeting. Oh, yeah. They, oh. They, 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 this is a real treat. Oh, it's, yes, uh, real. So, Leo, what do you do? Me, I, uh, I, I manufacture toys. Warm, cuddly ones. Just like the owner. Good old-fashioned American dolls. We make them in Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry oh, we don't have more furniture. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff on order. The table and the chairs are alone from our decorator. Yeah. Oh, who are you using? Diego Carrera. Oh, he's very high concept. He is. You call our decorating Luke and so? I call it eclectic. Chuck, did you know Claire's in banking too? Oh, really? I'm in. Uh, Stock portfolios, bonds, and uh, Who money. do you work for? Arthur Everson. Arthur. Do you know him? Of course. Is he still married to that bitch with the lousy nose job? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, John, what do you do? I'm in welfare. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have my cheese puffs. I'll just back a second. Uh, I'll, excuse me. I'll... Cheese puffs. This is a disaster. I had more fun when I had my wisdom teeth out. No, no, then you had laughing gas. True. Stop it. Maybe Diego should put in the trap door. Maybe they'll just go away. <laughs> Chuck, go play host. Oh! God, oh, God, did you hate that? Welcome to the night, Oh, boy, I mean, how inconsiderate can you get? I mean, some guy wakes up the entire neighborhood trying to protect a stupid car. Is it ours, honey? I know, I don't think so. Cheese puffs? Cheese puffs? Um, watch your fingers, they're hot. They're hot. Boy, you guys have a heck of a view here. Mm, those must be the thousand points of light I've heard so much about. Yeah, it's really spectacular. It looks like a light show out of the 60s, doesn't it? I don't know. I'm not exactly an expert on the 60s. Yeah, we were born in 66. You were born in 66? Yeah, so we don't remember a whole lot. God, I remember everything. Unfortunately, so do I. Cheese puff? No, uh, nothing. Cholesterol. <laughs> <coughs> I just immediately assumed that anyone that was even alive in the 60s went to Woodstock and wore love beads. Oh, John went to Woodstock. Really? Did you really? Were you there? I was there, yeah. My mother wouldn't allow me to go. She didn't think there would be enough toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom was right. <laughs> well, I have a Jimi Hendrix album. Does that count? You do? Jimi Hendrix always was counts. He was great. Janice, yeah, Joe but yeah, but, the, yeah but, the, but the best group of the 60s by far, very obscure, urban shit kickers, Willie and the Saddle Sores. John, <laughs> you're kidding. Willie and the Saddle Sores? Very much an anti-war slant. John, <laughs> Willie and the Saddle Sores? I wish the bombs were cow dung frisbees. I wish the bullets were made of straw. I wish soldiers trained on whiskey. And, and war was against, against the law. law. So put out my do not disturb sign with my boots beside my bed. Wake me when it's over. Ain't no sleeping when you're dead. So let the old mother lovers of the earth fight their battles on their own. And we'll all party for all we're worth. Flip the nicks in the big old ball. Yes! Tricky Dick. Queens Boulevard. 69. Queens Boulevard. Unbelievable. You were yeah. there. You, the waitress. I know what you were. The waitress. The waitress. The waitress. Yeah. Hair down to here. With the tattoo. With the tattoo. What did the tattoo say? What did the um, tattoo say? 
What was it? Uh, I take no prisoners. She's right. You're right. You know her? We didn't exactly meet. <laughs> Well, those those days are long gone now. <laughs> I'll tell you. You know, it's it's time to you got to get past uh, you know tattoos. Tattoos and you know uh, you grow up. I grew up. Got a job. Making toys. Making toys. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Keeping in mind that our theme is the '60s. Uh, let's start with decorations. Uh, yeah, I could use some suggestions. Sure. Okay. Any suggestions? Come on. Um, okay, well, what do you say we decorate, we decorate the auditorium with what? Like war protest signs? Oh, that's or... a colorful idea. <laughs> war pro... I mean... Yeah. What about... Why Why the worst times? Why don't we just... Why not the best? Best day of the 60s. Best day of the 60s, no contest. October 16th, 1969, bottom of the ninth. Davy Johnson batting for the Orioles. He lies one to left. No, 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 no. Leon Jones is under it. And the Mets have the World Series. Come on, Baseball trivia. I got a piece of baseball trivia for you. Okay, which famous world leader once tried out for the Washington Senators? George Bush. Wrong. Uh, Eisenhower. Eisenhower. Uh, no, I did not say it had to be an American leader. Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro. That's right. Is she I right? That is no, right. No, have you On the that? nose. Very good. You're kidding. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Well, back to business. Yeah, that's a great idea. I don't, I hate to bring it up. I'm sure you're wondering, uh, can I... I just want to go check no. the score. I know, I probably, I'm not going to watch. I'm going to, I'm just going to watch, uh, look at the score. Okay. Uh, Bye. That's what, that's what I have to do. What? Where are you going? It's, 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 you're right here. John. I'll work with me, John. Working with you. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. God, it's the bottom of the well, floor. meeting adjourned. <laughs> what is it, some weird genetic encoding? They get the baseball, we get the dishes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's the worst day of the year? Super Bowl Sunday. Right. Or the World Series. Two weeks from today, NCAA. our house. He'll do the cooking! Why <laughs> with me? Great. Bye. Bye. Well, this sweetheart, I want to go up with you. I want to talk to your mother. She's not home. What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean she's not? You're walking into an empty apartment? I do every day. Oh, you do, do you? Yes. Well, why didn't you tell me? I really... I... Speak of the devil. Okay, sweetheart. You wait here. I want to talk to your mother, okay? Then talk to her. Madeline. What do you want, Leo? Madeline, I was hoping that maybe we could switch weekends. Oh, Leo. Come on, I have a business thing. <laughs> a business thing? What million-dollar scheme is it this time? Uh, a talking chump rope, a battery-operated hula hoop? Madeline, Lucy, would you go upstairs, please? Lucy, okay. do whatever you want. You think you can be a father at your convenience. Well, it's not that easy, Leo. Look, I am doing the best that I can, okay? I love this kid more than I love breathing, so don't you even insinuate that I am not a good father, okay? Your child was about to walk into an empty apartment. Lucy, go upstairs. No, you stay right here. I bust my ass providing for everything my child needs. Like tuition to that fancy private school. Like tuition to that fancy private school. That's right. It's the best school in the city. But you can't afford it, Leo. Yes, Who are you trying to impress? Some rich bitch socialite princess? I'm not trying to impress anybody, okay? What I really want to give her, I cannot, which is a mother and a father in love living under the same roof. Oh, so I buy her things instead, okay? Your jealousy is really quite unbecoming. Jealousy? Yes. Is that what you think this yes. is? Try anger. Try rage. Try disgust. Come on. Lose. Lose. Congratulate me. Ever since sending me to close the London deal. How come you're going? <laughs> Chuck, babe, now you have got to uh, scrape the countdown off your shoes. 
to get with the program. Aardvark. Charles Bishop for George Mullaney, please. Mr. Mullaney, it's Chuck Bishop. <laughs> right, the new lion tamer. Mr. Mullaney, how's about we make some money together today? Come in. Mrs. Foster sent me here because she hates me. She, did she say that? She didn't have to, I can tell. How can you tell? Because she treats me like my bitch stepmother. How, how's that? She treats me like I'm not even there. Or like I'm only there when it's convenient for her. Like I'm a dog or something. How do you treat your stepmother? I don't treat her like anything. I hate her. Right. <laughs> Makes sense. What does your father think about all that? He thinks it's just the stage I'm going through. I guess you just can't admit this is actually my personality. <clears throat> New York City events? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, hi. You're doing very well and good, but I have to get those bleachers down by Tuesday because they gotta be up in Staten Island by Wednesday. Yeah? Well, can't you get someone to donate a truck or something? Okay, all right, now look, I'll see what I can do, okay? I'll call you back, bye. Read it and weep. No six months reviews, no raises. No bonuses? Oh, God. Sorry, Bubbala. Our neighbors would rather have air-conditioned subways. What about the quality of life? I mean, where would the city be without its theaters, its ballets, hey, museums? Hey, hey. You don't have to convince me, but you can't get blood from a turnip. John, we've talked about this. We've agreed that the most valuable investment we can make is in the education of our children. Bullshit. You're fooling yourself, Iris. You can't get blood from a stone. Yeah? Well, you can't get it from a turnip, either. We're at the end of the line here. I think we should discuss tuition. That is not negotiable. Well, lots of kids go to public school. Yeah, lots of kids have handguns, too. You're sounding very elitist. Whatever happened to changing the system from within? That was for us. We're talking about our children here. Well, maybe our children should have a more realistic view of life in the big city. I'm innocent, you hear? I'm old popcorn. Uh, I'm a colonel. You can't do this to me. Uh, Tony, even you have to admit that Bracken has the best science department in the city. Yeah, they got <laughs> athletic fields, too. Yeah. So, boys, how was school today? Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, what are you studying now? Not much. Oh, could you be a little more specific? Uh, I think if you really think hard enough. Well, in history class, we're studying the 60s. You're studying the 60s in history? You mean I'm that old? Well, I told my teacher that you're a Woodstock. She freaked out. <laughs> you were like a total hippie, right, Dad? Oh, total. George Washington and I used to hang around the village together. God, you remember the Fillmore? Wish they'd reopen it. Hey, your mother was a hippie, too. Did you guys ever drop acid? Never. We never took drugs in our lives. Pretty neighborhood. Claire can afford the best. Hmm. There's John and Iris. Hey! You beat us. We already tried downstairs. So now we're gonna try upstairs. Hello. Hi. You must be Leo's daughter. Lucy, dear, bring our guest inside. Hi. Hi. This is lovely. <laughs> sure is rent control. Hello. Oh, hey, hi. 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 How are you? Hi. Hi. Welcome. Oh, hi. Welcome. Aha, the guest of honor. It's rhubarb custard. I hope it goes. Come goes in, everybody. Everything. Don't worry about it. Lucy, you want to lead the way? Oh. Did, did everybody meet Lucy, my daughter? This is John yes. and Iris Morton. Hi, Lucy. And that's uh, Chuck and Nina Bishop. Do you know Nina works at your school? Oh, no. 
There you are. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Lucy, love. Take the pie to the kitchen. <laughs> come in. Come in. Oh, I didn't know they had fireplaces in New York. This barn has seven. That's why I bought it. I was seven. going for Chateau. But next time, I think I have to have a penthouse on the river, all black and white. You know, Fred Astaire meets Aubrey Beardsley. <laughs> How could you ever leave this place? Really? I'm not married to it. It's just a place to hang your hat. You get bored. I hope everybody is hungry. The uh, round ones, the lobster and, Ooh, and the triangles oh, are yeah. crab meat. I've been lobster in ages. Thank you. Leo, you're brilliant. Yeah. This is great. Mm, you got real talent, Leo. Oh, wow. Well, I helped too, didn't I, honey? I minced, I chopped. And you whisked. You're a wizard with a whisk. Yes, well, it is all in the wrist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, that's potato kugler. What is it? Kugel. 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 Leo's mother is giving me cooking lessons. <laughs> but everyone, please, let's sit down. We have two Italian wines. I like the white, but Leo thinks it tastes like piss, so there's red, oh. too. <laughs> Lucy, darling, come sit by me. I'm not hungry. You're not hungry? I made all your favorites. You're not getting sick, are you? Um, yeah, um, I am. M my stomach hurts. And... Maybe you should go lay down. OK. You, you want to go upstairs? Lucy, I'll be up in a minute to tuck in. Lucy, say good night to everybody. Good night to everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. She's adorable, Leo. She looks just like you. Thank you. She's his pride and joy. She's a delight. It's nice you get along so well. This is a great fabric, Claire. Yeah. How did you ever decide? Diego sends Nina 20 <laughs> swatches a day. None of them look like this. No. no. Just don't get anything nubby. Mm. Nubby. Mm -hmm. Nothing nubby. <laughs> no, seriously, I met, I met Claire crossing the street. No, seriously, he was crossing the street. I was in my car and I almost ran over him. My uh, my divorce papers came through that day. You know, not not that I wasn't happy. It's just it was kind of you know an emotional day for me. So here's this very attractive man in a well cut suit crossing the street, crying. He didn't see the light. <laughs> I slammed my brakes on so hard my airbag went off. Yeah. <laughs> now, so I hear these brakes squeal. I look up. For a split second, I see the Shiksa goddess in the car. The next thing I know, there's a big balloon in front of us. So <laughs> you pulled God, the car over. I was shaking. Over, he and, was crying. You know, but here's the most I, amazing thing. There was a parking meter right there. Do you believe that? In New York. Oh. <laughs> a sign from God. <laughs> so we went. We had a drink to, uh, you so know, settle our nerves. Married. And then, then we got married. What well, else did you do? We got married. Well, we and found the first, parking yeah, spot first together. First, we got the parking spot. So, yeah. <laughs> so I married anybody that, you know, had a parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> We met in a barn. No. Call of the wild. Oh. It was in 4-H camp. Yeah. Well, they start early in Iowa. Well, yeah, technically we did have our first date when we were eight, eight years, years old. old. I assume you didn't go all the way. No, hardly. I didn't even like him then. Mm -hmm. He thought he was so cool. I was. I had a crush on her. I called you stuck up Chuck. Oh, you didn't pull any punches, did you? <laughs> we used to go down, the kids used to hang around this barn at 4-H camp. And we'd walk down there yeah, and... Uh, don't, don't. We'd, we'd watch and we'd wait for the animals to do it. Don't! Oh, we'd, God. Isn't it true? Amazing. And then we started dating. <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs> <Gross. laughs> how'd you guys meet? Yeah, how'd, how'd, how'd you, meet? you meet? No. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, John and I met in jail. What? <laughs> <laughs> End of story. That's <laughs> no, come no, on. No, we no. had to tell them. After all, they told us. Well... See, there was this uh, student protest hey. going on. Uh, I you know, skipped the gory details, that. Well, I, I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. So anyway, I go down there, and it's a great place. You meet other people and uh, and the war at the same time. And I happen to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, and, paddy uh, wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get it, honey. <laughs> Say it by the bell. <laughs> Sounds romantic. It was. So it took out the other and everything. Will you stop <laughs> it? Doesn't you know when to stop? He hates it when I tell the story. <laughs> he just hates it. Leo, it's Mad Dog. Tell her I'll call her back. No. Excuse me. Ease up, Claire. I won't ease up. She has the telephone etiquette of a mad dog. Lucy's wonderful, but her mother's impossible. She calls. I say, hello. She says, is he there? Like I don't exist or like I'm a servant or something. Red or white? I'll stick with a piss. 
I hope you told her to get a B12 shot. She doesn't play doctor as well as you do. <laughs> you know what? We haven't even talked about the festival. Oh, Don't you think honey. we should talk about the festival? Actually, yeah, that's Absolutely. Relax, right. No, we, relax. we, we have to get some work done. Why don't we just get together next week? Yeah, that would be okay. Oh, great. Great. Next week, same time, your place. We only have one bathroom and our furniture. It's so nubby. You're right. You really should redecorate. Let's see. Uh, Claire and Leo did Chateau. Yeah. I know. Let's do Ski yeah, Lab. Yeah, very Bring funny. an artificial yeah. snow. It'll be fabulous. Oh, God. The couch of ours is 15 years old. It keeps my butt off the floor when I watch the news, Irish. You can't ask for more than that. You know, sometimes I just think you enjoy torturing me. You're torturing yourself. Cancel oh. the damn oh. dinner already. We got enough mouths to feed. Will you stop playing devil's advocate for once? Just be my advocate. I just want them to like us. Who cares if they like us? You're being neurotic. Oh, well, if I'm neurotic, you're in, I I'd say that described us perfectly. No, please, I don't want to hear anymore. I just don't want to talk anymore. I don't care. I'm anti-social, remember? What the hell were you doing at my father's house? Lucy, I'm sorry. I had no idea Leo and Claire were your parents. Leo's my father. Claire isn't anything. She doesn't care about me. You saw what a bitch she is. I saw two people having a hard time relating to each other. Two people? You mean you think it's my fault? No. You know, people can't always react the way you want them to or need them to. Sometimes they get busy or distracted and you need to make a special effort. You gotta try a little to, to make, a, make a difference. Forget it. Lucy, nobody's perfect. Look, maybe, maybe you could help Claire. Yeah, think of something that the two of you could do together. Something fun, you know, something you'd enjoy too. You think of anything? I don't know. Try meeting her halfway. She might surprise you. Okay? Okay, Lucy Juice, what do you say? What do you want to do tonight? I have a fabulous idea, okay? We get all dressed up, go to some really fancy restaurant, and just order desserts for dinner. Oh, that's all I need. Well, what about this? We eat a lot of desserts, and then make ourselves throw up. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea. I like that. I like that idea. I got it. Let's go roller skating. There's that new place down in Soho. It's a private club, but I'm sure I can get us in. That's not until 11, though. I hate roller skating. Okay, how about we just go home, huh? Good movie on the tube tonight. Fine. If you two are hungry, why don't you order something? I'll just make an espresso. Lucy! The sleeves on this are a little short. Would you like to have it? I hate red. Only tramps wear red. Then why don't you give it to your mother? Why don't you give it to your maid? She's a communist. She doesn't wear leather. Showtime, 90 seconds. I called the couch. You coming? Any other child would kill to have that jacket and would be thrilled to go roller skating. I can't reach her. And she's got you in the palm of her hand. 13 years old. I want 5,000 at three quarters. No. No, the bid's at 5 8 7 eighths. I, I want it. Great. Hi, Charles Bishop. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? You can come with us. You're under arrest. Stand up, please, Mr. Bishop. I haven't read it yet. Oh, this 
says here he was taken away in handcuffs. Oh, thank God he's out on bail. What did they get him on? Stock parking. Stock parking? Stock parking. You're it's, kidding. It uh, says he masterminded the whole thing. Uh, listen, I can't listen it's to both of you at once. I'll call you right back as soon as I've read it. Oh, okay. Okay, listen, I'm going to call Nina, okay? Bye. Why don't you eat your breakfast and forget about it? Chuck is led away in chains. You want me to forget about it? That's what happens when you break the law. You mean you think he's guilty? I didn't say that. I haven't heard all the evidence yet. Oh, well, what are you, Oliver Wendell Holmes? I believe in due process of law. Oh, yeah, well, I believe in standing by your friends. You hardly know the man. Yeah, well, I know all I need to know. Terrible picture of Nina. Talk about yellow journalism. Think he did it? Oh, I don't know, Leo. We all have our price. And it's usually not too high. The price you pay for stock parking is high. Bishop could receive heavy fines and imprisonment for violating the SEC's rule that a purchase of over 5% of a company must be disclosed. The defendant is charged with organizing a network of... Why are they picking on you? You haven't even been convicted yet. Thus parking the stock and plotting... You think I'm capable of committing a crime? Oh, no, sweetie, no. But they do. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. All I meant was you have to remain calm. Ow! Oh, Nina, oh, come on. Honey, you just must be going through hell, you poor thing. Oh, you could say that, yeah. Well, oh, listen, I, I just called to say, is there anything we can do? I mean, anything at all. I mean, we're all in this together. Thanks. I appreciate it, but I've got to go. Oh, no, I understand. I want you to call me anytime. I mean it. Four o'clock in the morning, wake me up. I don't care. I do. Okay, well, bye. She feels sorry for me. I hate it when people feel sorry for me. Jesus, what if he is guilty? Okay, now, what? this, okay, you're gonna go to work. I'm not gonna go to work. You're gonna, you're gonna go to work, and I'm, I'm gonna, by, by the time you get home from work, I'm gonna have this whole mess straightened out. Hey, uh, Hi. Mr. Carrera wants us to pick up uh, six chairs on the table. He did. Uh, excuse me, there must be a mistake. I'm just gonna call him, okay? Uh, hello, Diego Carrera, please. This is Nina Bishop. Yes, Mrs. Charles Bishop. I, I, I need to talk to him, it's really important. I got his signature, just need the furniture. yours here. Oh, well, thanks a lot. <laughs> And have a nice day. Thank you. Jeremy! Hey, hey! Jeremy! What's going on? I can't even get Peterson on the phone. Under advice of counsel, I am unable to discuss the case. You gave me that tip. I gave you dozens of tips. But I never told you to break the law. You did that on your own. I didn't. Come on, Jeremy, just talk to me. I'm trying to figure this out. Jeremy! I thought we were friends. <laughs> Guys like you, you don't need friends, you need lawyers. I had a client who did the same thing you did. We'll plea bargain down to a lesser charge, maybe a fine. <laughs> Wait a second. I didn't do anything. Of course you didn't. Did you hear? No. Did you hear the step in this job? No, band practice is downstairs today. Band practice is downstairs. Thought we had an appointment last week. Look, your advice sucks. I tried to be nice to Claire, but she wasn't interested. How'd that make you feel? I'll cut the shrink wrap. Why can't you admit that sometimes it doesn't matter how hard you try? Some people just aren't worth it. I need a $25,000 retainer, and I can guarantee you never go to trial. 
No, I want to go to trial. I'm not afraid to go to trial. Look, Charles, can I call you Charlie? I wish you wouldn't. Mom, I'm starving. Did you empty the waste baskets? You owe me 50 cents, but I think I deserve a cost of living raise. Absolutely. You'll get one when I get one. What's with the furniture? Yeah, well, I thought it made the room look bigger. Yeah, for a second there, I thought I was in the Astrodome. Mom? Yeah. What are we going to eat? Well, you guys can eat now. Your father and I are having a dinner party. Oh, shit. That's tonight? Can't we get out of it? There are friends. We can't get out of it. What friends? Actually, you sort of know one couple. Their daughter, his daughter, goes to Brampton. Her name is Lucy Rothenberg. Lucy Rothenberg is coming here tonight? Oh, so you do know her. Know her? He loves her. I do not. I hate her guts. She's a total bitch. Hey, watch that vocabulary. Well, she's not coming. Her father is. Here, give me a hand with this. Well, if her father sees this place, and I'll know we're poor. My life is ruined. Trust me, your life will get much worse. In last year's spelling bee, I finished in third place, and I'm also interested in political sciences, like my father was before me. I'm named after Martin Luther King Jr. and my brother Kenny, who's named after the Kennedys in general. Don't you guys have homework to do? Come on, let's go. Come on. Dad, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How's Chuck holding up? Oh, he's fine. He's really fine. We're fine. We're really fine. Is there anything I can do? Oh, check on uh, what's burning something what? in the kitchen. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. John? John? What the hell is it? You didn't do it, John. I didn't do it. No. I know you didn't. You know I didn't? How do you know that? Because you told me you didn't do it. No, I, I knew you didn't do it before you told me you didn't do it. You did. Yes, I did. I didn't do it. I know you didn't, John. Thank you. Thank you for knowing that. Jeez, he looks like shit. What do you expect him to look bad, but not like shit. Nina doesn't look so hot herself. She looks bad, okay, but not like shit. What you really need, you really need is a good lawyer. <sighs> good lawyer? No, that's an oxymoron for you. I didn't do it, John. I know you didn't. I didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. You didn't do it. I know. I hope you don't mind my asking, but are you guys okay for money? Sure. Because if I can help... Don't cry. I won't. Don't cry. I won't. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I guess I'd make these offers more often if people didn't keep going wet on me. Thanks. <laughs> so what do you think? Did he do it? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, without any hope of any ever going to I think maybe. I think maybe too. That they can get you off. Right. Yeah. The important thing is not to give up. Well, I'm trying not to. You guys have all been so wonderful, helpful, and supportive. Oh, come on. What are friends for? Very original, Iris. Oh, God, she's going to cry again. It's moments like these when I really miss the 60s. This is a perfect time for recreational drugs. Hmm? <laughs> I smoked pot once in my life. I heaved all over my friend Eddie. Uh -huh. Well, drugs are an escape you don't need. As long as you have a good lawyer. Ah, I don't think there is such a thing. <laughs> what about Saul Chamberlain? Forget it. Who's Saul Chamberlain? He's a brilliant lawyer who happens to be a very dear friend of ours. We haven't seen for years. Well, he's a brilliant lawyer. Oh, yeah, he defends the oppressed, oh. widows and orphans. Yuppies' rights aren't exactly Saul's cup of tea. I thought we were all created equal. Chuck's yeah. right. Yuppies are people, too. I'll well, put that on a T-shirt, Iris. They'll sell like hotcakes down on Wall Street. Be cool, John. Here's his number. Everybody's innocent. Innocence isn't worth shit. What matters is who the judge is. If he's getting laid, if he's got hemorrhoids from sitting in that hard chair all these years, a lot of variables. But that's not fair. You vote for Reagan. Yes, sir. He had a very strong foreign policy, created a healthy economy. Oh. <laughs> Look, the point is I haven't broken any laws. There's a difference between the law and justice. 
A guy doesn't pay his rent. He gets evicted. That's the law. But if he didn't pay his rent because he doesn't have the education to get a decent job so they could earn the money, or didn't have a family where there was a role model to give him that self-esteem that he needs to just function in this society. Is that justice? Look, are you going to represent me or not? They're going to audit your taxes, they're going to go over your credit cards, they're going to examine your phone bill, they're, they're going to subpoena your high school yearbook to see if you've got any subversive autographs. No, that's all fine. But you believe I'm not guilty. Mr. Bishop, if you were smart enough to be guilty, you sure as hell wouldn't hire me. Glad Mr. Chamberlain's nice. I don't want a nice lawyer, honey. I want a nice dentist. But mean lawyers are too expensive. Even this guy's not free. Well, Daddy always said you've got to spend money to make money. That's great, honey. Your father never made a penny in his life. Speaking of money, um, I was thinking that um, until we got this whole mess straightened out, that I should start seeing private patients. I put my name on a referral list, and I've, I've already got some calls. I don't want you working overtime. Chuck, we can hardly pay the electric bill. I've already cut back as much as I can on groceries and dry cleaning. Anyway, it would be kind of nice to have my own private patients here and... Here? Nina, look at this place. You can't have people here. Iris is going to help me fix it up. Where? Right here. Right here? Right here. Right here? Yes. Fabulously tanned arms, but when he took his t-shirt off, he was pure white. Fortunately, his purity ended there. Uh, I can't imagine you as a construction worker. Oh, well, that was during my experimental phase. I was just out of grad school, had a few bucks. It was like there was no limit to what you could do. Everything was free or exciting, full of possibilities. Hmm. Remember those days, Iris? Vaguely. There were men everywhere. Of course, that was before the days of safe sex and the Dalcon Shield class action suit. Back then, it was easier to fuck somebody than to explain why you didn't feel like it. <sighs> well, maybe I'm too romantic, but I like being with just Chuck. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like monogamy. Oh, I agree completely. That was then. This is now. This is the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> You can make all that with just a couple of bed sheets. Yeah, Iris is a genius. Huh. I thought Mom's sewing machine was gonna give out. I had such a hard time with the gathering at the top. Nina, it looks great. How many times do I have to tell you? Well, I'm glad I finished in time for my first private patient. I should be here in oh god, ten minutes. What are you gonna do? I have to research these security fraud cases Saul gave me. Oh. 
I don't think it'll do any good, but... Chuck, this is supposed to be my office. Can't you read in the park or a coffee shop or... It's only for an hour. I have to leave? <laughs> well, we need privacy. You can't stay here. I mean, we can't work in the bathroom. It's $75 an hour, and we can't live on my salary. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm a deadbeat. What, have you told the neighbors? Hi. Can you, can you have her... Just hold on a second, please. Chuck? This is great. This is really supportive. As if I don't have enough to worry about. Now, my own wife is throwing that in my own house. Come on. Hi, um, send her up, please. Thanks. Today, we are very fortunate to have someone who was an eyewitness to history. Someone who actually attended Woodstock. Mr. John Morgan. <clears throat> No applause, please. <laughs> what is uh, I thought I'd start today by having you ask me some questions. Uh, I know that's usually safe for the end, but uh, the whole idea of Woodstock was to change the rules, right? So, uh... Come on. Anybody, don't be shy. Mr. Morton, did all the girls go topless? <laughs> hey. Yeah, some of them did. It was pretty warm. <laughs> did everyone take drugs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of them did. Some people did. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I think you guys have the wrong idea about Woodstock, or at least you have just a partial idea of the whole thing. See, Woodstock wasn't just a big, giant party. I mean, uh, you have to remember that this country was at war then an unjust war that was being run by a psychopathic maniac who was manipulating the Vietnamese people because of his own twisted, macho idea of what America should be. On the weekend of the Woodstock Festival, there was over 500,000 troops in Vietnam. And most of these were poor minorities because they didn't have rich fathers to buy their way out of the draft. Excuse they? me, Mr. Huh? Morton. Oh, uh, sorry. We were hoping that you would emphasize, uh, shall we say, the more sociological aspects of uh, Woodstock. You know, the music, the idea of tie-dye as folk art. Oh, 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 that was just a reaction to the political climate. I mean, Nixon was totally off his rocker. I'm talking um, paranoid schizophrenic, Morton, okay? We are covering yeah. this historical confrontation in my class. Sure. Why don't you share with us some of your personal experiences? Perhaps a humorous anecdote. Well, there's nothing humorous about watching body bags lined up on the 6 o'clock news. I mean... If your choice of role models is between Richard Nixon and Jimi Hendrix, it's not a difficult decision to make. Our country was bombing hospitals, okay? Thank you, Mr. Morden. I think that you should... And I think you should give these kids the truth, not some watered-down version Mr. of revisionist Morden, history. Look, you go ask a Vietnam vet about tie-dye. See what he says, huh? Please. Just... He went crazy, Mom. You should have seen the guy. I mean, it's like he had an acid flashback. That's funny. That's very funny. Everybody's talking about him, even the kids that weren't there. Yeah, you guys are getting Come so on. excited. Just calm down. You know your dad. He gets a little bit carried away when he cares about something. He'll be home in a minute, and then we can all talk. Come on, Mom. The... I mean, the guy, a little bit. He's here. He's here now. Come on. Let's go talk to him. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Dan, let's all talk to you. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dan. Dinner in 20 minutes. Turkey parmesan. Oh, go ahead and eat without me. I'm, uh, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna lie down. Sure. New evidence in the Maritown stock parking case today appears to be bad news for defendant Charles Bishop. Prosecutors revealed that only days before his indictment, Bishop purchased two first-class tickets to Geneva, and they are pressuring Swiss authorities to determine if Bishop had set up a numbered bank account where he could hide profits from the alleged scam. Didn't you hear that? It's bound to come out sooner or later. I told Saul. Why didn't you tell me? 
Look, this case is very complicated. I, I, can't, I can't remember to explain every detail to you. Chuck. I bought those tickets. It was an anniversary present. It was supposed to be a surprise. I don't want surprises. Chuck, it's, it's only fair you tell me what's going on. I mean, you haven't told me anything. It's like I'm not even here. Nina, please stop it. I'm just trying to protect you. This isn't going to work. You're changing the terms. You're absolutely right, Charles. I am changing the terms, and here's why. Excuse me, Miss Laurent, it's your husband. He said it's urgent. Excuse me, gentlemen. Leo, what is it? Listen, I was supposed to pick up Lucy ten minutes ago. I've got some buyers here that are inches away from a major sale. No problem. That way she can spend some more quality time with her biological mother. I've got to go. She's not at home. She's at her friend Tiffany's and they're going out to the theater and Lucy has to be picked up. First of all, she has no business associating with anyone named Tiffany. And second of all, what am I supposed to do about it? I, I thought maybe you could get her on the way home. Home? Leo, I'm in the middle. Give me your address. I'll take care of it. Chotomate, kudasai, sugo, ikimas. The address? Where are we going? 3080 69th Street, miss. Liberty? Yeah, I'm doing a report for school. Well, that a girl. You know the value of a good education. What did you expect me to do? Drop everything? A limousine is no place for a kid. Caroline Kennedy grew up in a limousine and she turned out perfectly this fine. This is serious, Claire. She's probably with Madeline. You're not mad about the limo. You're just mad because you have to call that bitch and explain. No, what I'm mad about is that I asked you to do me a favor. I, hello? Yeah, it's me. Is Lucy there? Oh, uh, no. Look, there was a uh, was a little mix up. It, calm down, Madeline. Calm down. Ma look, Madeline. I am upset too. To Hang up. I'll look, call yeah, the limo service. We'll strand this out. I'll, I'll I'll call you back. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You okay? I didn't know where to go. You want to come upstairs and talk? I don't need to talk anymore. I just need you. I can be your friend. I can listen. I can't fix it. Okay, my Daddy. Come here. Come here. She's been Come here. drinking. Daddy, help me. It's okay, I tried sweetheart. to give her some milk. You were Daddy now. Thank you, Nina. Okay. It's okay, honey. You're home. If you need anything else, just give me a call. So 
I guess you think I'm a real witch, right? Driving that poor child to the bottle? No. I know how difficult it is to deal with a child that's so hard to reach. No, you so don't know how difficult it is, Nina. I really tried to win her over. But she's so sullen and arrogant and manipulative. She's a little girl, not a grown-up woman. <laughs> when I was her age, I never heard the word divorce. I didn't know the world could blow up at any minute. My biggest problem was cheerleading tryouts. Every night, I went to sleep feeling safe and secure. Lucy's never had that. But it wasn't my fault. It's nobody's fault. It's just the way it is. I've got a cleaver in my hand. Are you sure you want to have this discussion now? There is no discussion. This isn't working. Throw in another egg yolk. I'm talking about our marriage. It isn't working. Of course it's working. We're having an argument, that's all. It's going to fight. I want out, Leo. You want out? You, you want out, huh? Just like that, you want out, I'm right? I'm sorry, Leo. You got to be more willing to bend, Claire, that's all. This is not fun. Yeah, well, marriage isn't all fun, you know that? Remember, for better or worse, in sickness and in health, you know, once, just once, I would like to have a plain old weekend with you where we didn't go to some glamorous resort, didn't hang out with the right people, drink champagne, and desperately try to fuck our brains out there on satin There was no sheets. gun at your head. You know, I would like to spend 48 miserable hours with you one weekend, that's all. Then get into bed, have lousy sex, wake up in the morning, and then get on with my day without having to worry whether or not I impressed you, whether or not you had a good time, whether or not I was good enough for you. Marriage isn't just fun. Well, this one sure isn't. I'm sick of suffering because you and Mad Dog fucked up. How about a little respect for my feelings instead of jumping through hoops for the other women in your life? I married you, not your excess baggage. Excess baggage? Lucy. My daughter. My daughter, excess I'm not baggage! About Lucy. I'm Who the about hell do you situation? think you are? Queen Claire? Your Highness? Who the fuck are the you? Fuck you? My think daughter, you are. my daughter I comes didn't mean with your me. Daughter, okay? da don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay. My daughter comes with me, okay? That's part of the bargain. I know that, Leo. It's no bargain. Oh my God, Claire and Leo. They're getting a divorce. Well, why? They seem so happy. Yeah, I can't figure it either. I'm sure they had hot sex. <laughs> hot sex? What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means, Iris. It hasn't been that long. Uh, you really think sex is the most important thing to keep a marriage together? Of course not. People split up for a lot of reasons. Lousy sex is just one of them. Oh, I didn't realize you were such an expert. You don't have to be an expert to make a simple observation. It just appeared to me that Claire and Leo had a uh... satisfying physical relationship. Right. Claire is a very vivacious woman, and uh, she's got great tits. Great tits? What a thing to say. It's a simple observation. It is a rude and inappropriate comment to make about a friend in pain. Do I say, gee, Chuck's a bright, interesting guy, and I'll bet he's hung like a gorilla. I bet he's not. I'm sure they'll work it out. People say things in anger they don't really mean, and they just have to remain calm and, and talk things over sensibly. Anything can be worked out. Divorce is just so final, it's so sad. You live in a dream world, Nina. Divorce happens every day. Divorce is a fact of life. Watch, watch your step now. Go slow. Yeah. Slow. I'll get it. I got it. You all right? Yeah. Easy. It's pretty pathetic, huh? A man's whole life fits in one little truck. Uh, they say it's better to have loved than lost. Nobody likes losing. Hey, help me with us, will you? Come on. Just hold it. Okay, easy, Katie. Okay, Watch guys. yourself. Get out of the way. Okay, easy. Ah. That's it. I certainly hope so. Okay. 
smell of hot chocolate will always remind me of Girl Scout camping trips. <laughs> we took the boys camping once. John stepped on a bee. Well, that's life for you. Just when you think you're having fun, something always fucks up. How you doing, guys? It's the last flight. Okay. Okay, got it? Just put it against the wall. Huh? Put it against the wall. Okay. Be it ever so humble. <sighs> it's sort of uh depressing. Well, it's small, but it's it's very green. Why don't we give it a coat of paint? I've got time to kill. Come on, Claire. You can't turn your back on the fact that we were meant to live our life in pairs. Yeah, sure. Ever heard of Noah's Ark? Ever heard of the Titanic? No, the nuclear family is the basis of human life. Know. The bond between parents and child. Mom! What? Your extent wants to take us to the hockey game so no, we can no, stay no. over. No, I don't think so. Oh, come on, right. Mom. Please. Uh, they even have toothbrushes. Please. 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 All right, all right, all right. Thanks, Mom. Right. Okay. Let's right. okay. 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 I'm free! <laughs> I am free for one whole night. Part of me wants to protect my kid from everything. Oh, yeah, but you also want him to be able to deal with the real world. Yeah. Stop. You know, my parents are alive, but if they were dead, they'd be turning over in their grave. They've been married 45 years. They still sleep in the same bed. What's this, lavender? Yeah. That's Lucy's favorite color. I'll be happy if one of my kids develops a decent jump shot from the corner. <laughs> Pretty low expectation. <laughs> I always wanted to have my kids when I was young. So we could grow up together. I don't think we're ready. Chuck keeps telling me I live in a dream world. Maybe I did. But I'm just starting to ask questions about things I thought I had answers to. Does that make sense? Sure. You know, even though I'm innocent, there's one thing that still bothers me. What's that? Well, I have to ask myself when I think about where I was headed, theoretically. If I could have gotten away with a few million, never gotten caught, would I have done it? Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Take it easy. Oh, Relax. Take it easy. I'm sorry. Take it easy. Painted floors are in. Very high concept. Above all else, I value my independence. I don't want to answer to anybody. And I don't want to set a good example. If people don't like the way I choose to live my life, they can kiss my ass in Macy's <laughs> window. I'll let Claire keep the silver. It's the least I can do. It's been in her family for over 200 years. <laughs> I let her sleep in her damn silver. See if that keeps her warm at night. Fucking A. Nobody ever plans to get in a rut. I mean, John and I had this, like, you know, quite open relationship, which basically meant that he slept with other women while I pretended to sleep with other men. But then his roommate moved to Oregon, and I moved in with the understanding that we wouldn't sleep with other people, but we'd keep our money separate. Then what happened? We got pregnant. A few years ago, Iris had a lump in her breast. She had a biopsy on Friday. We wouldn't get the results until Monday. I said, come on, we'll do anything you want. We'll, you know, put it on plastic. The sky's the limit. She said, no, I just want to be normal. <laughs> Me, I would have gone to London, Hong Kong. But Iris? Not Iris. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we get married on the beach. No! Yeah. It was sunrise. And, uh, uh, fun th oh, God, I don't remember. <laughs> but the point is, we write our own ceremony. It's very zen. It's very feminist. It's very Buddhist. It's very Carlos Castaneda. People did stuff like that in those days. Some people. <laughs> what do you want? It was young. It was impressionable. <laughs> hey, I was knocked out. <laughs> Ladies, another bottle of wine? Two, please. Oh. Bring one at a time, please. <clears throat> you know, this may sound corny. Everything you say oh. sounds corny, Nina. Come on, Claire. It's, it's easy to make new friends, but it's hard to make old ones. And I feel like we're old friends. <laughs> I like the ones with all the jewelry on them. Like natural looking. I like the 
She don't run away. Wow. How old do you think she is? She's too old for you. She'd break you in half. <laughs> God, sometimes I miss being in school. I never see my friends anymore. It's, I mean, it's, I, I like being married. It's just different. <laughs> You're never alone. There's always someone to get you off the phone, off the toilet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Huh? New York is full of beautiful women. It's so exciting. Don't talk to me about beautiful, exciting women. <laughs> Power and the wealth aren't what they cracked up to be. <laughs> there are exceptions. Hi, thanks for calling. If you leave a message, I'll call you back. Uh, hi, it's, uh, oh boy, I hate machines. It's, uh, it's me, Leo, um, your pit bull lawyer called me yesterday. We, uh, I, I really didn't like his attitude. Uh, okay, this is, this is tough. I, I can't do the sound machine. Anyway, I told him, uh, I hung up on him. Uh, so why don't you just tell him to send the papers over? I'll sign whatever you want and, uh, I'm, won't call you anymore if you, if, uh... Okay, bye-bye. That's good night for Channel 3 News. Coming up next, a United States Senator is slapped by his colleagues. He says the experience is the most hellish in his life. This and more after sports. Tri-state area weather. Hey! Hi! Boy, well, said you called, but I didn't know how late late was, and then... He didn't call back, so... Oh, Marty said you were at a pageant meeting. Oh, yeah, so. no, I, I was, but I would have come home if I knew you were feeling sociable. What's that supposed to mean? I had a drink with Leo, and, uh... Oh, a drink? Oh, God, you two are becoming quite an item. It's like a nightly ritual. Well, you wanted me to be sociable. We got to talking, and, and uh... Oh, did he, did he talk about Claire? No, I should have. He's put that all behind him. He's starting a whole new life. If you ask me, this divorce could be a blessing in disguise. You, uh, want a sandwich or something? Oh, no, no, thanks. I ate with the kids. Um, I have a staff meeting after school today, and um, I need to go to the library to do some research for one of my patients, so I, I don't know how late I'll be. What about dinner? Um, I made a casserole. It's it's in the fridge. Three fifty for an hour. Looks good. It's Iris's recipe. Iris is so talented. What did you say? Iris is so talented. Is there anything she doesn't do? I've got an idea. Why don't you fuck Iris? What, cat got your tongue? No, I've never heard you use that word before. Oh. Well, I suggest you get used to it. Because I'm planning on using it a lot more often around here. Because I'm the one who painted the fucking shelves, and I'm the one who made the fucking curtains. And not only did I make that stupid fucking casserole, I also make your fucking dinner every fucking night. I'm sick and tired of doing all the fucking work around here while you sit around moping all day like you're the only fucking person in the whole fucking world. And I'm rushing off to my fucking job, you're still sitting around your fucking bathrobe. So fuck you, Charles fucking Bishop, fuck you. Come in. Hi. Well, I had to drop off the new school leader list, so I thought I'd just drop by and say hello. Night. Well, even though my lunch hour was over two hours ago and the city of New York is collapsing without my input. <laughs> so, how are you? Fine. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I'm leaving Chuck. <laughs> You know how you said no one plans on getting into a rut? I don't know what I'm talking about. I see the first thing that comes into my head. Well, I didn't plan on getting into this one, but I'm sure planning on getting out. And Chuck won't even notice I'm gone. Oh, Nina, he's been through so much. Yeah. So have I. I'm really tired of being his fucking cheerleader. 
You can't just walk out of the marriage just like that. Yes, I can. If you're not happy, you can too. How can you work in a barn near this broken down nag? Okay, you pick it, Juicer. The movie of your choice. Popcorn is on me. We've got action, adventure, romance, comedy, drama. You want to laugh, cry, scream? Personally, I vote for scream. I don't care. Well, I think you should care. When your father is trying to make you happy, you should care. Why? I mean, my opinion doesn't count. You ask me about stupid things, things that don't matter. Okay, you want me to ask you about something that matters? Huh? Something that isn't stupid? Maybe you can explain to me why the only thing I ever wanted in my life was to make my child happy, give her everything good in life, make her feel secure, and that's the one thing I screwed up. Make me feel happy and secure? You say that, but you make all the big decisions yourself. You treat me like a baby, and I haven't played with toys like these since I was four years old. <laughs> I, you know, I, I must be out of my goddamn mind, you know? Okay, you want you want to talk like an adult? Let's talk adult, okay? No more TV daddy and daughter, all right? You know, I feel so guilty, and I am so afraid that you will not love me that I have made my own daughter into a spoiled brat. Oh, sure, everything's my fault. No, everything is not your fault. Everything is my fault. I've allowed you to become a royal pain in the ass. How about a little compassion? How about a little recognition that somebody who loves you very, very much is trying to do the best that he can? Lucy, you're going to have to understand something, okay? Whatever happens, your mother... Look at me, Lucy. Your mother and I are never going to get back together again, okay? We tried. We wanted to. We tried. We just... We don't get along. We really did try. Claire and I broke up because... Me? No. It was no, because of no. me? No, no, no. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's not true. Look, I, I know you didn't like Claire, but did she... Well, she simply did not know how to be a parent, that's all. But believe me, I really think that in her own way, she tried to do the best that she could. She was okay. And her house was a lot better than this dump. I just don't like it when you're alone. Neither do I. Oh, I love you. I love you too. How was your day? Actually, it was interesting. Oh, I picked up the dry cleaning and uh, I did the grocery shopping. I called John. There's a basketball team in Harlem that needs a coach. So I thought, you know, maybe with all this time off, I could uh, help out. Good. That, that could really improve your image for the case. I mean, I didn't do it to help my image, Nina. I did it because you were right. Because. I mean, there are people in the world with problems, and it felt good to stop thinking about myself. That must have been a unique experience. I made you a dinner because we've been celebrating the wrong things. We're always celebrating first dates and first kisses, and they're important. I just think we should celebrate the bad times, too. It's not that simple. You don't just pick up the dry cleaning, everything's okay. I mean, I can't even get a real reaction out of you. I mean, I don't know if you're happy or sad or scared. I, I've been going through the worst time of my life. I know. And I've, all I've tried to do is protect you from it, just tried to keep you out of the mess of it. That's what I've done wrong. I've just tried to be a good husband. That's what I've done wrong. No, just stop. Stop trying to be a good husband. Chris.
Look, I'm doing this all wrong. I need you to help me. Please, just tell me what it is. Tell me what you want. <laughs> I just... I just want us to be able to talk. You are everything to me, okay? Do you know that? <laughs> I just felt so lonely in the past couple months and shut out. And I just want to feel like I matter oh, to you. God, you matter. You matter. You don't have to protect me. Okay. okay. Will you marry me? <laughs> I already did. Remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> marry me again. I do. How many thousands of these do you need, Iris? There's no such thing as too many. The Children's Public Theater will get a huge turnout. Chuck and I can't wait. You know he wants to volunteer, too. He's so helpful. If you two get any happier, I'm gonna have to get a glucose tolerance test. Don't you recycle these things? I have a feeling I'm going to. No, well, come on, it only takes a minute to make a difference. It's all there is. Yeah? How do you do it, Iris? How do you have time to care about everything? You sound like John. A minute is a compliment. Well, he sure doesn't. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't get like that. He's been under a lot of pressure lately. They're having more cutbacks in the department. Thanks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So bad for him. Oh, so bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's this big uh, dance for the mayor, and um, I'm really excited because I thought it might cheer John up. Yeah. It's his black tie. He's never worn a tux before. Really? But now he's all upset because I cost so much to rent. Mm -hmm. well, what are you going to wear? Um, well, I, there I have a sort of long navy blue skirt and white blouse, and I thought, yeah. that, you know, I... Look like Mary Poppins? Well, with the right jewelry. The right jewelry is in the Tower of London. <laughs> John needs to be cheered up. What do we have that's real cheerful? Do you know CPR? Oh, God, I could never wear that. <laughs> we won't tell God. Yeah, come on. It'll never fit me. Of course it will. This part stretches all out this way, and this part pushes everything up and out the top. Yeah, well, but I, I, I don't know if I want everything up and out the top. This is endless. Every transaction Everson made for the last year, some for a dollar or ten dollars. Uh, how are we gonna... Just, just keep reading. I mean, it would be nice when we go to trial to have a defense. without the limo, but I sure miss her. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. 
Didn't we meet at the White House? Uh, I don't or, know. Or, or was it the laundry room? Oh, laundry yes, room. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Having a good time? Oh, yeah. I love watching my tax dollars at work, but my date keeps ditching me. Oh, hey, couldn't we, uh, there, let's, let's take that. Let's right. sneak out of that door right there. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Are you really having a good time? Oh, I am. And as much as I'm enjoying this party, I can't wait till it's over because then I can get you home and have you all to myself. Oh, well, if you feel like that, maybe I should just give you a preview of coming attraction. <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> Iris. You are so... Beautiful. I never <laughs> knew you could be so beautiful. <laughs> you should borrow Claire's clothes more often. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, come on, no, come on. Stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> you know it's me in here? <laughs> what? God, what's the matter with me? Am I so desperate for some response to you? I dress myself in this outfit because. I'm just convinced you think I'm dumpy and boring. Don't think any such thing. Now, yes, come on. you do. God, you fuck me and you won't kiss me. You mock my casseroles and you think I'm ditzy when I'm just trying to be cheerful. I just want to have a good life. Not be consumed with anger and... Jealousy and rage and and the feeling that I've missed the boat. I thought we were in this together. I, th I thought this was supposed to be a marriage, right? I know. I'm not, maybe I didn't turn out to be the Barbie doll of your dreams. But let me remind you, when we met, you had a 32-inch waist and a sense of humor. And now all you can see is sadness and, and gloom. And you fantasize about Claire's tits? Let me tell you something. I think Claire's great. I think she has great tits. I think she has great legs and great clothes to show them off. But she gave up on Leo, and I have never given up on you. So how dare you give up on me? How dare you? I miss you. Look at all this money I made for Everson. Son of a bitch won't even talk to me. If I had any money, I'd turn it over to Jeremy Brimfield. He made a killing on this Hutchko deal. Yeah, I never liked Jeremy. He was always bragging. He had a lot to brag about. He made a bundle for Mulaney. No, no, no. Jeremy Jeremy didn't do shit for Mulaney. Mulaney was mine. Jeremy didn't even know him. What are you talking about? The whole Hutchko deal? No. Jeremy handled the Hutchko deal, but Mulaney had nothing to do with it. Mulaney's brother-in-law owned the corporation, but Mulaney had control. No, if that was true, then Jeremy and Mulaney would have known each other, and they hadn't met. Who makes you so sure? I saw them meet. Um, it was at Everson's party. Oh. They're right in front of me. Jeremy came over and... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, jeez, I am an idiot. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, Mulaney pretends he doesn't know Jeremy. And Jeremy gives me the tip. 
Yeah, and then Everson gives you some nice new clients. All of who are in with Melanie right from the beginning. <sighs> Set you up. They had a whole scam going. <sighs> okay. How, how are we going to prove it? Well, we got 11 of Chuck's clients to try and crack. We can play them against each other. All we need is one. My hair. Hey, thanks a lot for printing these out. He saved us a bundle. It was my pleasure. Speaking of pleasure, have you talked to Leo? No, why would I? Well, John says he's miserable without you. Good. Well, if you're glad he's miserable without you, that means you must be thinking about him, which means you should call him up. I haven't been thinking about him. As a matter of fact, I've met someone new. Oh, yeah? What's he like? Shipping tycoon. Tall, dark, handsome. Rich, powerful, romantic, sexy. Mm. Sounds awful. Call Leo. I won't call Leo. I'm perfectly happy seeing this fabulously wonderful man. As a matter of fact, we're going to the ballet Saturday. He's got the whole box. Why don't you join us? We can get Chuck and Nina to do cocktails at my place. It'll be like, you know, old times. Oh, gee, I guess you forgot about the Rainbow Festival. Chuck and Nina are coming with us. Oh. Well, I'm sure it'll be lovely. It's going to be fabulous. <laughs> the boys are stringing love beads and painting war protest signs. And Leo is going to be there. And I'll be at the ballet where I belong. You belong with Leo. You guys were great together. Iris, I know you mean well, but I know myself. I know my limitations. I don't bend. I don't compromise. And I'm too old to start now. You're giving up the chance of a lifetime. You're turning your back on the real thing. There is no real thing. And believe me, no one ever lives happily ever after. Honey, it happens all the time. Here he comes! Here he comes. Sir, Excuse me, has Maritime been indicted? Has Arthur Evans Four been charged? Four of the 11 Maritime purchasers have signed confessions admitting to collusion with George Mullaney, Arthur Everson, and Jeremy Brimfield in an illegal stock parking scheme to take over the company, using my client, Charles Bishop, as their pawn. Excuse me, what about the charges against him? It is my understanding that all charges against my client will be dropped. Come on, it's just gonna take a couple of seconds. It'll be painless, believe me. Come on. Okay. Have you know that I embroidered these with my own two hands, okay? So if you wreck them, just, hey, don't come home. Okay, we'll be careful. Sheila, Mom, hey, hey, thanks. Hey, come here. Okay, Sheila. Okay, Mom, thanks. Hold it, hold it. I've got a little something for you guys. Can't be a hippie without a mustache. Right. Facial hair is where it's at. All right, Dad. Thanks, oh, Sheila. See you later. I, uh, I thought that I would grow my own back. <clears throat> what do you think? Hmm? I think you look like an ass. Ow! Oh, <laughs> Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> you are the most beautiful woman here, and I am the luckiest man in the world. Thank you. I mean, how sweet. Hi. Hi, Lucy. I like your tattoo. My dad did it. Really? It looks very authentic. I want to say congratulations. About your husband, I mean. Oh, thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. Um, I was thinking, I'm going to camp this summer. Is it okay if I write you? Yeah, I'd really like that. So would I. Or you could call, too. Collect if you want. We paid the bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to go now, but thanks. Okay, good luck. Okay, bye. Well, of course everyone wants me, darling. With my credentials, I can name my own price. I just let them know I'm in control, and then I watch them fight it out amongst themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you made it. Hey. Hey. Got it? Got it? Got it? 
I told them I'd only sign a two-year contract. The thing I value most is my independence. Excuse me, please. And who knows? Uh, maybe you'll get married. Married? Or... Never. The last thing I want to do is waste my time playing house with somebody who's temporarily compatible. <laughs> look, I'm trained to look at bottom lines, and numbers don't lie. Statistically, all relationships are a bad investment. Believe me, nobody lives happily ever after. Sure they do. It happens all the time. Sure. <laughs> Order, ladies. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, don't worry, don't worry. It won't stain. I just need a little cold water. Go ahead. I'll wash this up. I'll come with you. Silly, not to the ladies' room. Be a good boy. Save my seat. I won't be a minute. Yesterday, a child came out to one. Jar. Fearful when the sky was full of thunder And tearful at the falling of a star And the seasons, they go round and round And the painted ponies go up and down We're captive on a Streams. Words like when you're older must appease him And promises of someday make his dreams And the seasons, they go round and round And the painted ponies go up and down We're captive on a Town. And they tell him, take your time, it won't be long now Till you drag your feet to slow the circles down And the seasons, they go round and round And the painted ponies go up and down Spin by and now the boy. 
city streets are dark and cold Along the huts about to unfold The neon lights are flashing by A stranger's voice is whispering why We'll never stop, we'll never give in Our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast, we're living loud Our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We're driving down the open road Our spirits high, our passion glowed We're chasing dreams that seem so far We're raising hell like shooting stars We'll never stop, we'll never give in Our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing, keep on playing Until the end, a rock and roll will never bend We're living fast, we're living loud Our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We'll never stop, we'll never stop We'll never stop, we'll never stop Music echoes like a thousand